we are at my buddy's place today that I have permission to hunt and uh, that's where I killed a bird last year right off the roost came in and uh, worked a decoy and everything this place hasn't been hunted this year at all so I'm hoping that um, I'm hoping that I can get on one uh, of these birds that have been unpressured um, come in here and listened a week before season and heard a bird roosting out here on this point my buddy said he'd heard one out here uh, pretty recently so we're going to sneak out here on this point it's not very far from the truck and get set up and then listen and make a move if we need to so that's kind of the plan today i don't have a long time to hunt this is kind of a make or break um place they're either going to be here or they're not so we're gonna get in here and try it it's, it's dark right now so i'm gonna use that cover of darkness to try to sneak down here and get set up on this ridge because they could be roosted really close so hopefully this plays out because it's been pretty tough this year and it's, it's a little bit nicer today still cloudy a little bit of rain um but that's just the way the season's going and we just got to roll with it so we're gonna get down here and get set up and see what happens well you guys can't see me because it's dark but we slipped in here like a couple of cats this morning well it's just me by myself but anyway we're in here tight to where they like to roost like to roost on the other side of this ridge on this steep face right in the spot where we killed last year hoping that there's a gobbler roosted here close like last year there was whenever I scouted this place there was one roosted right here so it's getting to that gray light period right now, it's starting to break. So we're gonna find out here in the next 15 minutes if there's a bird right here close. Hopefully he'll gobble. We'll find out. Should be a good morning. It's trying to rain a little bit, but it feels good. Birds are chirping. Have been for a long time. Whipper wheels are going. Owls are going. So hopefully a gobbler will go too. We'll see.
an awesome morning again on this place. I mean, it couldn't have played out any better. It's 6.45 and we got a big bird on the ground. Looked like he had a rope on him. He ran right in once he saw, once he popped up. And I'll show you, I'll do a little rundown of where he was at and stuff here in a second. Show you. It's another nasty, gloomy, you can see behind me, gloomy, rainy day, it's raining again. We haven't had any good weather this spring and it's been tough, it's made turkey hunting hard. But, uh, boy, he come in like they're supposed to and the 20 gauge put it on him. I'm gonna flip this around and do a little walkthrough real quick of what he did. So I had come up here scouting Right back there is my truck, right there. And I can walk in here. I actually sat at that tree right there when I was scouting and the turkey was roosted right here in these trees, right over this lip of this hill right here that you can see. When he gobbled the first time, he was right, he was right down in there when he gobbled the first time. Well, he came up, he came up about right here and I could hear him spitting and drumming. I could hear him spitting and drumming right here above me. I'm set up right down there, like that tree. And he came in right here and saw those decoys beeline ran to him. I mean, as perfect as you could ask for. He ran right down this road on this ridge. So yeah, another awesome day. So I started the second week and I've hunted hard and I've had some opportunities, but this dude did it right this morning the way he's supposed to do it. So, man, he's beautiful. He is a beautiful bird. Wow, what a bird. What a beauty. What a beauty. We'll get him over here out of this rain, and then we'll take some good pictures and stuff. I don't want him to get too wet. So, man, it's a good, good day to be a turkey hunter. Thank you, God.